Uh, so my main symptom, I would say, was probably the headaches I was getting. I was getting headaches in the back of my head, basically like if you spread your fingers out and run your fingers down the back of your head, it's like two strips that would go all the way back to like the middle of my neck. And they were so bad, you, I mean, I, you couldn't do anything. I was, you know, laying in a dark room with my head under a pillow for hours, you know, sitting there. And then the only other symptom that I really had was my stomach was really messed up. It was, uh, I don't know, I was, I wasn't constipated or anything, but like the, I would get like, almost like stomach cramps. And it was like to the point where, I mean, you, I, I couldn't even move, you know, I'm curled up in the fetal position, laying in my bed, just sweating bullets. That was another one, actually, I was sweating a lot. <clears throat> but yeah, those were, that was really, all I had was, you know, like crippling headaches and like crippling stomach cramps. Yeah, they, they thought it was either, they, the, when I was going to the doctor before I came here, everybody was saying Lyme's disease, Lyme's disease, Lyme's disease. But I did two and a half rounds of Doxy. I didn't even finish my last round of Doxy because I didn't, I didn't really think it was doing anything for me. So I just stopped taking it at that point. And then I was going in and getting, I was getting IVs to like try to boost up my, my vitamins and everything. And that would help for a couple days, but then I'd be pretty much back to square one once all that was flushed through me. And I'd be back to laying in bed all day. I would say at least, say a solid eight months. Eight to eight to nine months, I was I was doing pretty much nothing besides waking up, watching some TV, laying in bed, and eating. You know, I wasn't doing and sh you know obviously showering and whatnot, but I wasn't wasn't leaving the house. I was scared to get in my car because I I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want something to happen while I was driving, you know, and then yeah yeah I didn't want to leave the house. That's where I felt. I mean, I didn't feel good, but that's where I felt good was, you know, at, in my room. Well, nobody really figured out anything, I don't think. You know, it was just kind of, uh, what else can we do, you know, kind of thing. So we, you know, looked at our options, and this was kind of the only, the only step we knew where to go, you know. We were either going this way or that way, and we went this way. We came in, and I did 10... I did 10 dives, two every day at like 8 and then 1 in the afternoon or something like that. And maybe after like 6 dives, 6 or 7 dives that the next day I came in, I, I was like, okay, you know, I don't, I could do some stuff today. I don't feel like just laying in bed and doing nothing today. You know, I could, I could do something. And then I think we went to we went around and did some shield shopping and whatnot. And then after that, I was totally wiped out. Like I had no no energy to do anything. You know, I I still don't have that much energy to do a whole lot, but it's tenfold time times what I used to be able to do. I mean, I'm able to go out, hang with hang out with friends, go go you know go fishing, do what I like to do, go frisbee golfing. But usually after that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty wiped out energy-wise. But yeah, I, I mean, at least 80%. I was, it was bad. I was in a rough spot, for sure.